and welcome back to the math party my party people Anderson here your math coach and here we go this is a follow-up video from systems of equations of the nation where with elimination we only really had to add the equations together so if you haven't watched that video already please go ahead and watch that because what we're going to be doing now in this video is I'm going to show you the other type where you have the variables that have the same coefficients but they're the same sign that opposite signs remember that when you add opposite signs like uh, negative 7 plus 7 that cancels out right but here we have the same signs and so adding these two equations together to eliminate not going to be the easiest thing to do or the right thing to do so I'm going to show you that here in this video and then remember after this you have those worksheets and you have the drill set available to you that drill set remember it's designed to help you practice for speed confidence that way when it comes to test time you're calm cool and collected and then after that the next thing you're going to do is I'm going to show you how to tackle systems of equations elimination problems when you don't even have the same number because notice here you have 4x and 4x what if that was 4 and that was 8 or this was you know 9 and this was 18 you know I want to show you how to get all types of systems done because when it comes to those word problems you're gonna be nice and easy nice and chill and you're gonna get these done all the way so here we go let me show you here so we have 4x minus 9y equals negative 3 and then we have 4x minus 12y equals negative 12. So let's understand how to get this done, my party people. Here's how. Let me zoom in. Here's how we're going to get this done. If you were to add these two equations together, that wouldn't work. Because what you would have at the end of the day, 4x plus 4x, that's going to be 8x. Hmm, not really going to work out well. You want to eliminate one of the variables, so adding these wasn't, wouldn't make sense. What would make sense? Subtracting them. Subtracting would make sense here because if I were to go ahead and subtract these equations, then I would have 4x minus 4x and that cancels out. That cancels out. But here's the really big mistake that a lot of people make. Remember, if you are subtracting an entire equation from one to another, we need to make sure that we understand that you're subtracting every component. So I know this first part's gonna make a lot of sense because you have 4x minus 4x a lot of us understand that and that's cool but here's one thing that a lot of people will forget a lot of people will think of this as negative 9y minus 12y and that is not the case that is not the case at all what is the case here my party people is that you have negative 9y minus negative 12y and so as a reminder here you are subtracting a negative over here subtracting a negative what happens when you subtract the negative, my party people? That's actually addition, right? So how you can think of it is like this. You can just think about this as adding. And so let me just explain it again. Subtraction, subtracting is the same thing as adding a negative, correct? Subtracting is the same as adding a negative. So here, if I'm subtracting, I'm just going to say I'm adding negative 4x. Here, I'm subtracting negative 12y, but that's the same thing as adding a positive 12y. If I'm subtracting a negative 12, that's the same thing as adding 12. So you need to be able to understand that, remember, you're subtracting every term. So basically, distribute the negative to all the terms if you'd like to. That'll make things a little easier to see. Because when you add things together, what you'll get now, again, that elimination, nine, negative 9y plus 12, that's going to be 3y. And then over here, negative 3 plus 12, that's going to be 9. And from here, you can solve for the y. So we'll divide both sides by 3, giving me y equals 3. Nice and easy. Booyah. So we're going to ask ourselves, do we have to go ahead and do any more work here to solve for x? No, because we see that b is the only answer where y equals 3. So we're good. But let me go ahead and show you this technique again over here with number 52. So with number 52, we have here 2x minus y equals 15. And then we have 11x minus y equals 33. Okay, so here's how we're gonna take care of this, my party people. We'll go ahead and just show ourselves here, net 2x minus y, and then we have 11x minus y equals 33. So notice again, if you were to look at this and you were to add these together, wouldn't work. A negative y plus a negative y is negative 2y. It's not gonna eliminate. So we have to subtract. And one of the easiest ways that you can do this is by doing this, my party people. If you would like to, follow along, follow along. Here's what you could do. 
you can go ahead and just say, hey, let me go ahead and multiply by a negative on this side and a negative on that side. Just multiply both sides by a negative. And before we continue my math party people, really quick before we continue, I know that you're enjoying this video and I wanna make sure that more people can enjoy these videos just like you. So if you wouldn't mind, just take a quick second, like this video, comment on it, just showing some appreciation, showing what you learned, and then make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that way when we come out with new videos, typically every day, you can be right there on the spot to catch on to them. So help us help others ace the ASVAB. I'm Anderson, let's keep going here. Super simple, super straightforward. That's gonna give you negative 11x plus y, because again, distribute, and then equals negative 33. Boom. When we do it that way, it gives us an easier time because we're able to see that sign change and see those opposite signs right there in front of us. And so now we can do it like we did last time in the previous video and just add these equations together. Remember, adding is easier than subtracting. So I think when we look at it this way, a little easier to go by. So with that said, my party people, here we go. We have 2x minus 11x. That's going to end up being negative 9x. Negative y plus y, that's going to eliminate. And then we have 15 minus 33, and that's going to give us negative 18. So right over here, these two over here, that's going to give us negative 18. Let's put that equal sign right there in the middle. And so lastly, all we have to do now is divide both sides by that negative 9, and we are done. Here we go. Divide by negative 9 on both. Super simple, super straightforward. And we have ourselves a party. X equals positive 2. Are we done? Yep, D is the only one where X equals positive 2. So we don't have any more work to do. But as always, remember, if you wanted to solve for the Y, you would plug the X back into the equation, solve for Y, and you're done. Let me show you a few more examples here, and then we're moving right on forward. All right, we got this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. We have 5X minus 3Y equals 23. 3x minus 3y equals negative 33. So again, I instantly noticed that the three y's, oh, but they're both negative. So I can't add them together. I would have to subtract them. And another way that you could see that again, another way you could see that is by simply multiplying this entire equation by a negative. And so what's going to happen here? This one stays the same. That's going to be negative 5x minus 3y equals 23. And then what's going to happen to this one over here, that's going to now be negative 3x. Negative times a negative is a positive 3y. And then the negative times negative 33 is a positive 33. So look at that. All you had to do here was multiply the equation by a negative. That way you can see it in a very easy way for elimination. You have the same exact variables, the same exact coefficients, opposite signs. If you add these together, that y is eliminated, leaving you with just x with a much easier time. So let's get to partying here, my party people. Here we go. We're going to go ahead now. We're going to add these together. Add these together and notice these y's are going to cancel out. Negative 5x minus 3x is negative 8x. That y gets eliminated. 23 plus 33, that's going to be 56. Booyah. Now, all we have to do to both sides is divide by that negative 8, and we're done. Here we go. We see here that by dividing by negative 8, we have x equals negative 7. And really quick, before we continue my math party people, I know you're enjoying this, and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more. But mainly, in our course, you're going to get access to recorded lessons. You're going to get access to guided practice just like this, worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online. And lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way, when you take the test, there's no test anxiety. There's no pressure because you've been timed before. You know what to do. And that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more. So take a brief moment. Click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. Booyah. Is there anything else we have to do? Yes, because if you check, we see that we have three answers that involve x being negative seven. So we're gonna have to go back, plug the x back in to find the correct y value. You can pick either equation. Either one will work, you'll be fine. Plug it in here. So I'll go ahead and grab 
I'll go ahead and grab uh, this one here. The 3x minus 3y equals negative 33. That's fine with me. So here I have 3x, so 3 times negative 7, minus 3y equals negative 33. Here we go. Let's solve this. 3 times negative 7 is going to be negative 21, minus 3y equals negative 33. And if you wanted to, honestly, look at how all of this is negative. If you wanted to get rid of all the negatives, you could. You could change the sign of both sides and you can get rid of all the negatives if you wanted to. And I'm going to take a quick little shortcut to show you that that works. Again, if you wanted to, you could change the sign on everything. So that'd be positive, that'd be positive, that'd be positive. Again, as long as you do the same thing to both sides, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. And so here you can say that that's going to be 21 plus 3y equals 33. I'll solve them both to show you that, again, it doesn't matter. You could do that. So here we go. To solve this, I'll start by adding 21 to both sides. Once I do that, I'm going to have negative 3y equals negative 12. And so then from here, I'll take both sides and divide them by negative 3, giving me y equals positive 4. Watch this. If I solve it the same way over here, subtract 21 on both sides, giving me 3y equals 12, divide by 3, y equals 4. Same idea. Same idea, my party people. So my x value was negative 7. My y value was 4, excuse me. And that would be my answer. Negative 7 comma 4. And that's why A is the correct answer. And so, again, my math party people, what is this all about? Understanding how to solve systems. The previous video, we did where only addition was required. Here, we're doing it where you have to subtract or change the signs. And in the next video, after you do the worksheet, after you do the drill set, you're going to see that you're going to have systems of equations with elimination where you have to modify the equation, not just by multiplying by a negative, but by multiplying by an actual number, like a 2 or a 3 or a 7, or maybe even a negative 4. You'll see that that'll be the case, and it's going to be very, very beautiful in terms of how we get those done. So let's go ahead and try this last one out. Let's go ahead and try 56 out, and we're going to call it a day. Here we go. So we have 2x minus 2y equals negative 20. And then we have negative 5x minus 2y equals 29. We have a negative 2y and a negative 2y. They're the same sign. We need opposite signs to eliminate. So what I'll do, my party people, is I'll multiply this equation by a negative. So we'll rewrite the first one over here if this arrow feels like working. And of course, it doesn't feel like working. Nope. And last try, there we go. <laughs> so with that, we have the same equation for that first one, nice and easy. And then for the second equation, when we multiply that by, ne by the negative, negative times a negative 5x is a positive 5x. Negative, negative 2y is a positive 2y. And then 29 times a negative is negative 29. Let's go ahead and add these two equations together now, and we're good. Here we go. That's going to be 7x. That's going to eliminate on the y's. And then from there, we have negative 49. So to solve this, what we're going to do is divide both sides by 7. Booyah. Boom. Divide by the 7s. x equals negative 7. So we have a negative 7 for the x. Do we have to do any more work? No, we don't because we see that the correct answer here, that's the only negative 7 that we see for the x. And there it is right there. And we're good. So if we wanted to, again, to solve for the y, we could plug in the x equals negative 7 into either one of those, and we're set. But the point of this now, my party people, is moving forward in the next video, after you do the worksheets and after you do the drill sets, again, if you're in the course, make sure to get that practice in until you feel that confidence. And then after that, we're going to look at the toughest type of elimination questions where you do have to modify one or both of the equations to get it done. With that said, I'm Anderson, your math coach. You know, I'm always happy to see you succeed. So let's keep pushing forward the right way. Put in the time, put in the effort. That way everything else becomes easy at the end of the day. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.